Taylor Sikai is saying Azeris in Armenia live secretly, um, hiding their ethnicity and changing their names to avoid assault. The same is true for Americans living, uh, Armenians living in Azerbaijan. So Azeris in Armenia and Armenians living in Azerbaijan, right? So hmm. how, I don't know if, I heard like the term Azeri is, a lot of people don't like the term Azeri because people just say, just say they're Turkish, but there's like different opinions about that, okay? But anyways, uh, the question is, how can the ethnic hatred heal? Can the, the uh, diasporas begin to the dialogue? Um, I don't know how the relationship between Armenians and Azeris are outside of the Armenia, Armenistan and Azerbaijan region, okay? But I, what I do know, what studies do show, is that people feel um, closer together. Uh, ethnic division becomes less pronounced when people live side by side with each other, right? Yeah. Yep. So when people are living um, in isolation or in ghettos separate from each other, that causes hatred. Uh, but when they're mixed with each other and they work with each other and they study with each other and they shop with each other and they party with each other and dance with each other and go watch shows with each other, that makes them not, everything shows that that actually reduces ethnic tension, which is the exact opposite of what right-leaning people tell you, a lot of right-leaning people tell you. Yeah. The right-leaning tell you people like, if we sit, we could be friends with each other if we live away from each other mm. like if white people and black people mm. weren't living with each other they would actually be able to mm. have good relationships with each other and living together brings tension mm. um it's actually the other way around yeah. everything shows that no if you actually mix them up that actually reduces tension that if, doesn't increase tension yeah. if only we had some historic example where say a country as a whole specifically decided to separate people lawfully criminally in, in, yeah. in a sense, you know, based on their, if only we had some example to point to, like the United States or South Africa with apartheid or Israel, I mean, there's literally millions of examples, people. But yeah, I mean, everything you said is exactly education and experience, education and experience. The more that yeah. you encounter people that are different from you and have a different cultural uh, background and historical understanding and so forth, the more that you come to realize it's, it's, a, it's a pretty radical thought, I know, but the more you come to realize that all humans are humans at the end of the day. Some of us are good, some of us are bad, all the varying degrees, but there's no group of people out there that is just inherently you know, uh, just shit all the way around. Like, funny enough, when you go hang out with some Latinos, you're like, wow, all of these really mean things that I thought about Latinos aren't true. So, yeah. Yes. Um, however, I, I, I agree with what you're saying. However, um, as much as it's fun to always hate on America, America is relatively very good about all yes. of this. Yes, yes. Um, especially by comparing it to, so here's the thing, like the question is, how do we cause hatred like this to heal, right? So unfortunately, unlike America, which is as much as it has ethnic tensions and problems, right? Um, it doesn't have borders that are defined by ethnicities, right. Which, right. which is, you can see in the name of these countries, okay? Azerbaijan and Armenia or Armenistan, right? Mm -hmm. Literally, it country named after an ethnicity okay mm -hmm. and unlike some other countries who are named after their ethnicity like Denmark um or sweden and uh, they haven't evolved out of that mentality right they do see the identity of their of their country uh, it's not just a national it's not just a border it's just not a nation national identity it's an the country has a ethnic identity okay yes. so united states has matured above that United States, even though it has ethnic tensions, takes pride in being a melting pot and all that mm -hmm. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. right? So it, it aspires to be more than like that. These countries actually take pride in being the opposite of it. Imagine how much worse United States would be if, like these countries, it took pride in being a white country. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, right? yeah. So, so these countries do do that, right? Yeah. I mean, so... 
the solution, like I mentioned, is for these countries to come close to like these ethnicities to live side by side close together. But when you have countries that they define their borders along the lines of where different ethnicities should be, bring making that happen is very difficult. So I don't know. What do you have? What do you? Um, so I, 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 maybe you're right. Maybe it is up to the diaspora. Like it is up to people outside of Azerbaijan, uh, Azeris and Armenians outside of um, these places to make these ethnic uh, borders meaningless. But what do you think? No, I, I think I think you have a very good point, which is the 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 ethno national states around the world, whether they are you know, specifically focused on it consciously, or like you said, it's this kind of vestige of hundreds and hundreds of years ago that they still haven't moved out of. It is harder in those countries to get um, more of this mixing of various ethnicities. You're, you're absolutely right on that. And one of the things that that is really, really awesome about the United States, even if we aren't perfect with it in practice, is that it does very much seem that from the founding of our country, the idea of, you know, completely stopping other people from coming into the country because they're not, you know, quote unquote American, um, that definitely was against it. Again, we always we haven't always practiced that super well, obviously. Right. There's a lot of examples I could give. Um, but with a country like Azerbaijan, with a country like Sweden, with a country like France, China, they are much more focused on that ethnic identity for sure. Um, again, I, I really do think at the end of the day, education and experience are the two biggest things that cuts out that that hatred. Um, because again, when you when you're educated and you have these experiences with the uh, different groups of people, you you start to stop see, you, you start to see them less in a shitty light right yeah so um it also doesn't help that people who share your same ethnic background outside of your borders are adding to that tension for sure right? so for sure. in azerbaijan case for example you have turkey sharing the same turkish ethnic background with azerbaijan and trying to use that as an opportunity as a as a weapon, weaponize yeah. that ethnicity against Armenia as a way to bring solidarity through ethnicity. That that makes yeah. it a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.